To me, the main components of pirate makeup are sun damage and poor hygiene. So that's what I'm going to focus on today, starting with the sun damage. So for that, I'm going to take a liquid bronzer. You could use a powder, I'm just using a liquid as a kind of base. And I'm applying that on all of the high points of my face and chest, neck, ear area, just everything that's exposed. So pretty much anywhere where the sun would hit and when you tend to get sunburned more quickly is where I'm going to apply layers upon layers of this liquid bronzer really piling it on because essentially fires are out in the sun all day and it reflects off the water definitely want to get a lot of bronzer in for the pirate look so i'm using this kind of lighter bronzer to use as a setting powder all over my face and to act as kind of a barrier between my cream products and my powder products so I'm just sweeping this all over my face and chest again. And then I'm going to use a little bit of a darker bronzer and I'm just going to go over all of those points that I've bronzed before, once again, but now with a powder product. This look is pretty much all about just layering on colors. So I'm going to go in loads of layers and make sure that I get a very textured result. So now I'm using a smaller brush for some precision application right on my brow bone. It's pretty much actually like we're doing reverse makeup. So anything that you would do in your kind of normal makeup routine, we're going to do the opposite now. So any point that you would normally highlight, we're going to bronze now. And you'll see more of that later. So what I'm going to do next is take a stippling brush and a contour powder. And I'm going to use that to just create a little bit of texture in the skin. Again, make it look like there's are sunspots, some freckles just sun damage on the skin so i'm using this to very gently touch upon again all the high points of my face especially focusing on that nose bridge and then i'm going to do the same thing with this red eyeshadow which is totally crushed <laughs> but i don't want to throw it away until i use it up so i'm just using it from this baggie so again i'm just stippling that onto my skin and it creates this really nice kind of textured effect and that's going to help enhance the whole kind of sun damage look so then i'm gonna take a small brush and that same red eyeshadow and i'm just going to go over here and there onto my skin and just create some spots this is for the whole kind of poor hygiene thing um if you have any spots on your skin like real ones make use of that and accentuate them again it's the reverse makeup anything you would hide we're not going to accentuate so i'm gonna touch any real spots that I have or any kind of bigger spots that I just created with the stippling brush just wherever it makes sense so next up I'm gonna make my dark circles just a little bit darker because again reverse makeup for the part look here so I'm using a nice big fluffy eyeshadow brush and that same contour powder that I used before and I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes to create nice big eye bags because sleepers for the week and you know there's no sleep if you're a pirate so for my eyebrows, I am using this tinted eyebrow gel that has fibers inside, so it's going to help make my eyebrows look a little bit fuller. And I'm using this to essentially undo my eyebrows, so I'm brushing them down as opposed to up, which I normally do to make them slimmer. I'm just going to make them nice and big and bushy and unkempt, so I'm really, really getting in there with that brush. Making sure to touch my skin as well for a little bit of color transfer there. And just really making sure my eyebrows are nice and big and bushy and ungroomed. So then I went back with the small brush and a little bit of that contour powder again. And I'm going to create just a few more kind of like larger spots. More pronounced spots here and there. Making sure to blend everything in with my fingers. And then I'm going to move on to my lips. So for that I'm going to use a little bit of concealer. Just a very thin layer that I'm going to spread out very thinly over my lips. To make them look a little bit dried out, I guess. So I'm going over with a little bit of bronzer to make them look a little bit warmer. And then I'm going to wipe off the center to make it look more natural. Okay, a very important part of pirate makeup is the eye call. So for this, I'm just going to apply an eyeliner pencil on my top and bottom lash line. Rub my eyes. Apply another layer. Rub my eyes. And that's how I'm going to make the pirate eyeliner. Uh, pretty much, you know, they wouldn't have bothered with removing <laughs> this at night. So you want to make this look as if it's just layers piled on top of layers for days. And then don't forget to line the waterline as well. Okay, so there's your basic look done. I decided to take it just a little bit further, make it a bit more costumey with a scar, made a red eyeshadow again. 
And then it's time to do the finishing touches. So I'm just using something to cover my head in the typical pirate style. Gonna make my hair look nice and messy, but practical in a low ponytail. And then the very last step, I decided to go over with a little bit of this kind of tooth varnish that's going to make my teeth look like I haven't taken the best care of them. <laughs> nice and piratey. And there is your realistic looking pirate look all done. En nu glimt hij zelfs in het, in het licht.